is also a really great question because on the face of it, you would think, well, of all the different digital channels, you know, paid search can't be account based. Um, we're not we're not targeting accounts per se. We're you know using search. We're using keywords to try to capture people searching certain terms. What what you can do though is you have all your target audiences right that you've built out in demand base one, and um, one of the ways that I've had a lot of success is if you can imagine the buyer's journey funnel um, and the the people at in you know putting the search into the Google bar are users from accounts across all stages of the buyer's journey. And what they're searching is a uh, answer to a question, a solution for a pain point they're having for their company, Maybe they're comparing vendors um, or, you know, reading third party credibility um, and all of those things communicate and indicate what level of the buyer's journey stage they're in. And mm -hmm. the first indicator of this is the actual search term they use. Right. So if you can imagine an account that's, you know, qualified or possibly aware, but not yet engaged maybe they're not searching things like, you know, how can account-based marketing, you know, help me, or um, they're going to be leaning more towards, you know, stalled revenue growth or B2B go to market, you know, help um, and things like that. Cause they're not necessarily, if they're not aware or engaged yet, they may not know, you know, the different terms and the industry labels that are used. Um, and then you just, you kind of go on down the funnel, right? So if they're actually searching, you know, What's the difference between ABX and ABM? Well, that, you know, it's pretty clear then where they are mm -hmm. in that funnel. They're already engaged or MQA. Um, they may even have an opportunity. But the point is you can, by choosing the keywords and phrases to pull those kinds of searches in and then point them to exactly the right content to meet it, you're, you're completely staying true to the integrity of that account-based approach within paid search. Because there's always a moment where marketers are like, content syndication, you know, because you're always trying to get buy-in from the reps because, you know, it's all understandable. I call them, they never have heard of it, you know, so, so it can be a little bit of a struggle. Sometimes you're like, is it even worth it? It is worth it for several different reasons. One is that, again, I know I sound like a broken record, but you are using the same audiences. So the same audiences that you're breaking down by journey stage and all the other campaigns you're doing a content syndication. And it's especially nice in content syndication because obviously you want to set up a nurture program, an email, an autoresponder email program for um, any content syndication leads coming in. And with that, you, you already have beautifully mapped out exactly what content to send them next. And you know, you know by what they've downloaded what they need to know next. So that's that's already in place. That's that's just made for content syndication frankly. Um, but also content syndication can be used as an intelligence tool. Really, at the end of the day, it's, it's, um, you're getting the leads in, which is great. You're also gathering information about the account itself, right? So, oh, a lead here and there from here and there. But when you look at it as a whole, oh, wow, that account in the last week had four uh, people from that we consider decision makers downloading third party content about our product and solution. That's gold, right? That's just another data point in the intelligence. So um, I always encourage, you know, don't don't think of it as a just, oh, it's only lead generating top of the funnel. There are lots of ways to use content syndication to further the account-based model.